How did you sleep? Okay. It was okay. Why was it okay? I kept feeling something on top of my head. It was an accident. So this is the thing about Mario. She doesn't like it when I run my fingers through her hair. Even though in that Lauren Hill song, she enjoyed it very much, but she does not. It makes no sense. You're the only girl that I know that doesn't like hands it's, in your hair. It tickles. So quick tour of the place before we go. Here is the bedroom. It's actually very small, but it has everything that you need. This is basically a really fancy small studio. We have a, a single stove, the washer here, sink, and then I believe this right here is, I don't know what this is. Is this like a dryer for the dishes? And right here, my friends, as you can see, is a glass mirror thing, but if you move it over, is the bathroom. Amazing! Look at that, look how deep it is. It's literally made for you to sit in there. Unlike American tubs where you have, where it's more long and the, the water just only goes up to your stomach or your nipples. This, you can submerge your whole body in. Oh my god, that's so good. I'm not a really big sweets guy, so when it comes to savory food, and if Taiwan is all about salty, savory foods, then this is gonna be the spot for me. It's exactly what it is. It's like a quesadilla. Yeah. It's like a Taiwanese quesadilla. There's cheese in there, there's eggs, there's a protein, and then there's this like flour tortilla type of mixture. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah. Oh my god. After we've got done having our breakfast, we are gonna be on our journey. So today, we are gonna go on a food tour. And specifically, Mariel did this for me because she knows the biggest reason why I travel is to eat. I think the biggest way for me to understand a culture is through their food. And I know that a lot of people are a little bit scared to try new things, but uh, for some reason for me, when it comes to like a country's food, that's the way to get into their heart. So I'm excited to try it out. I'm ready to go and it's gonna be a fantastic day. Other than the fact that I've had diarrhea already four times. Here, number one is that the subway system is a lot wider. There's a lot more room and it's not as cramped as it is in Japan. I think that if we had public transportation where I'm at right now in LA, I would use it a lot more, but it's super unreliable. But this place is a big difference. Where are we at right now? We're in Yongchun Station and there's this cafe that I used to like, it was recently opened. I don't know if like they're still around or not, but we found one. The beans are really well roasted. That's what they're known for. It's cheap. It's so good. And I'm happy to see one. Hala. How was that? Mmm. Almany. Super good? Mm hmm The is almond taste here is different from the ones in America. Oh, really? It's a lot more floral. Or the, the, the smell of it is more strong. Oh, nice. That's interesting. How is it? <laughs> it, it's, it tastes literally like what it's described. So it tastes like apple and it also tastes like vinegar, <laughs> which I like. So today we're gonna go do something called a food tour. Basically we're gonna have eight people maximum and have a tour guide giving, letting us try different kinds of Taiwanese food. So Taiwan uh, is located in a subtropical area. So we grow a lot of tropical fruits. 
So we're gonna start off with uh, Long Yen. Have you guys had this before? Uh, it's called Dragon Eye Fruit because uh, when you open it, it has like a fleshy uh, meat and uh, with a black seed inside, so it kind of looks like an eye eyeball. So we call it the Dragon Eye Fruit. Yeah, you guys can try it. First. I actually might like this better than the pink guava. This is so good. The texture of this guava is interesting because when you get the pink guava that most people are used to, when, especially when you get in those wine drinks, it's pink, the flesh is a lot softer, but this has like um, a pear-like texture. It's sweet, and they, on top of that, they add like the, um, the salty plum powder on top of it, and it's absolutely amazing. Oh, that's good. It's so weird because like Japanese mochi, Korean mochi, Taiwanese mochi, it's all different. This one's a lot more softer. It's chewy, but it's actually very tender. It has like a very soft cheese. Oh, this is amazing. something called Gua Bao, which is Taiwanese burger, and then inside what we have is um, two different kind of pork meat. There's a fatty kind and a skinny kind, and what we're going to eat today is a mix of it, but towards the leaner one. And inside there's the meat, cilantro, and peanut powder. Oh, that's good. Oh, the bao bun. It's like sweet and savory. And you have that sweet pork meat inside. It's super good. Oh yeah. This is um mm -hmm. definitely one of those like perfect bites. Mm -hmm. So we just had the the stinky tofu, the level 13. It's not fried. There's like some kind of seaweed thing on top of it with a molasses-y soy sauce type of thing. Whoa, that smell is crazy. It smells so bad. Look. First it's fine, and then later you're like, oh, yeah. it has an aftertaste. Yeah. It smells like an open diaper, and then the, the flavor in your mouth is like an open diaper. How is it compared to the Chinatown one, the Taiwanese one? You know what, it, it's a lot more stronger here than it is back in LA. I think because most people are scared of it. Because my friend loves it, he loves it. So he told me to try it, he goes, you should try this. And I walked in the restaurant, I was like, dude, somebody died in here. <laughs> and like, no, that's a stinky tofu. And it's, it's, it's that. Usually yeah. people will say like, oh, it smells bad, but it tastes yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. But it tastes exactly <laughs> like it smells. Yes. Oh, oh. It has like a like if you get drunk and you wake up in the morning and your mouth was open the whole night. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> What are we about to have right now? We're about to have cold noodle. Taiwanese cold noodle is basically a dried noodle with, I think it's egg noodle, and it has sesame sauce and garlic and cucumber. In it. So the noodle texture is a little bit chewy and dry, and but the, the peanut sauce, peanut sesame sauce, the garlic sauce is very strong. It has a very good uh, uh, fragrance. This is pineapple plum. It's one of their special ones too. It looks a lot more interesting than light chi. Let's try it. But they want when they initially came here, they wanted everybody to be able to. It's refreshing. Did you enjoy the uh, the experience? It was good. It was super fun. Uh, the guy, the tour guide Napoleon, he was super great, telling us like the history of it. There's a lot of things I learned. There's a lot of food I had. I paced myself so I don't get full at the end. So I'm really happy right now. Yeah. Next up, we are off to go see 
Mariel's host family. One of two. I was living with them for about a year and a half and they did really well to me. They're really nice, especially when I broke my foot. I couldn't take shower, I couldn't cook, I couldn't do anything. And the grandma was like a superwoman. She did everything. She took care of me, she cooked, she cleaned up my place. Very nice family. Our night is about to end. Today was a very fun day. Um, just from the food alone that we ate, from all the way till getting to meet Mariel's host family, which was really, really awesome. The cool thing was that when we were there, she made us dinner. So in Taiwan, especially in Taipei, not a lot of people cook at home because everything's so convenient just to buy outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really rare to see homemade food. Yeah. Oh, wow, really? You buy your food at home, I mean, outside too, right? You never cook. I'm too lazy to do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Taiwan, it's a, uh, it's very hot sometimes, and then cooking that's even more. Easy. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. So you just let the other people suffer. <laughs> <laughs> now we weren't expecting to eat dinner because we ate a crap ton of food at the tour. But if you guys know, or if you have ever been in an Asian family, you can't just go there say you that you're full and then not eat the food is super disrespectful she put a lot of time love and heart into it so i decided to shut my mouth and just eat everything and the great thing about that was that she's an amazing cook so the food was out of this world so this is just the first day taiwan you've been amazing and uh, i'm excited to see what's in store tomorrow